Hi everybody, this is X-Reacts and welcome back to another episode reaction of Fairy Tale. We are moving on today with episode 201, 202, and 203. Um, I'm very excited to kind of see what happens in this. I know it's kind of just filler episodes technically. Uh, 201 is officially the the little wrap-up conclusion of the Grand Magic Game slash Eclipse arc. So um, I'm expecting just some more low-key, not battles and stuff like that happening in these episodes uh but they'll still be fun i'm sure so uh last time guys if you uh have been watching my episode reactions we had the uh the end of the eclipse arc happen we had basically the fight with future rogue um wrap up and he was defeated we had the eclipse gate destroyed which basically then had him uh future lucy all the dragons and anything else from the future uh has then now disappeared back to their own time so uh i'm still thinking about the that feel the gold scene with future lucy it's been over a week since i've seen that episode like oh my gosh like i'm still like thinking of that constantly i'm still thinking about constantly um everything with alt here and her sacrifice of what happened with her and the reveal uh spoiler alert <laughs> that she was uh didn't actually die but she was like an old woman and that she you know was able to find happiness still and kind of reconnected with just a couple of the characters not revealing herself, but just being able to kind of say goodbye to them in a way. Uh, it was so touching and so great, um, but so sad at the same time. So uh, that's that's in uh, previous my previous reaction, guys. I'll have it up in the cards right now. And then uh, I also recently just reacted to the first fairy tale movie, Phoenix Priestess. Uh, so uh, that'll be up in the cards right now as well. You can check that out too. Um, I, I loved that movie, and I I was kind of saying in that reaction, guys, that it was very you know. You, they didn't want to probably go in too much into the show of what was happening in the show just because being a movie, you know, many other fans or just people might experience fairy tale for the very first time uh, through that movie. And so they probably didn't want to, you know, weigh it down with all the baggage of the arcs and the show storyline and stuff. But they were able to kind of just touch a little bit on the characters and their abilities, their attitudes, and everything like that. So it was really cool. I done well. Uh, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. It had a very sad, bittersweet ending um, that I'm still thinking about. Like it was, it was kind of like maybe a little depressed, but it was, it was a great movie. Um, so I would, I kind of said it in that reaction too, guys, that I would love it if uh, one of the new characters, Eclair, you know, the, from that movie, if she got like a name drop or a mention or s uh, just some of the events of that movie, if they happen to just very lightly touch on it, say, oh, hey, you know, or the city of Veronica or something like that, just to make the movie relevant still. Like, so if you missed the movie, you can say, oh, wait, what were they talking about? Let's go back and check that out. So uh, I'm hoping that something like that, I'm not expecting it to happen right away way but i'm hoping at some point in the future they might do something like that to kind of reconnect it a little bit with the uh fairy tale movie because i know that i said uh fairy tale is just so famous for um connections and just having all these characters um you know reconnect and just and just have all this cool connections with it i, I don't even know what i'm saying anymore um <laughs> But basically, guys, uh, the whole Eclipse arc, it was it was fantastic. They introduced so many great new characters, like all these characters from Sabretooth, Kagra. Like, uh, you, we learned way more about Miliana. So many more characters come to mind that I'm just blanking on right now. So I'm, I'm not expecting them all to just kind of go away. I'm kind of expecting them to be lingering on or just return in other arcs. And so I'm really excited to kind of see what happens next. So uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to get started. I feel like I've talked enough about that. Um, we're going to get started now with 201. So here we go. Ready? Let's go. All right, so now they're just returning home. Yeah, and so guys, like with the... Um, it's kind of cool that they won, like, and that's still one of my favorite moments of the show. Is like that that last moment of the, of them winning in the games and everything. It was so cool and done so well. Um, totally threw me through a loop uh, with all that. Um, but I was gonna say, guys, that it was really cool because they left the town and they left, 
to go to the games so long ago for us, not that long ago for them, but they left and it, like nobody really knew who they were or if they did, they were like, ah, fairy tale isn't anything special. Um, and now they're just have all these fans in the crowd like they're they're just well known again they're they're back and established to how they were when the we first met them all in the beginning of the show um so yeah it was pretty it was done really cool guys and uh love i love the grand age games arc I'm, I'm gonna probably talk more about just my thoughts and feelings on all that arc at some point i'm sure because uh, it was it was so great and i don't know too guys if it was more just because i'm reacting to it i'm able to like talk out my thoughts rather than just kind of thinking them in my head but I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, uh, but yeah, it was really, it was so good. I guess it's one of my favorite arcs now. One of my favorite arcs, I should say. There's the last age of spell in the credits. Like, oh, so sad. Oh, the book. Yeah. We kicked every magic button we saw. That makes us champs. Oh, there are so many people here. I wasn't expecting this grand of an entrance. It's overwhelming. Woohoo! Fairy tales are greater! I'd like to thank each and every one of you for cheering us on at the game. You need to speak up if you want them to hear you. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to even hear her if she's all that noise in the crowd. Oh, and yeah, he's still, she's still thinking about this. And of course, we all are, I bet. So, no smiles on Gray. Just, this is so sad. Like that look right, gosh, that look right there is just devastating. No, I'm okay. Well, I don't know if they showed that before where she kind of shakes her head no. What's the matter, dear? It's nothing. Lucy! You did great out there! Oh, hey, thank you so much! I hope they gave you some prize money because you ran away! Oh, I forgot about that lady <laughs> who owns her building. She even took on Kagura! Yeah, she beat her on a broken leg! All this praise is embarrassing. I think you may have to get over that. Check out this little souvenir I brought back. You guys are gonna love this. Ta da! Oh, jeez. <laughs> you didn't steal it from him, did you? Oops, you weren't supposed to see that. They're gonna throw you back in the dungeon, Natsu. The symbol of our victory. A super shiny cup. I can hardly believe it. It sure wasn't easy, but we finally pulled through. And after coming in dead last year after year. Fairy Tales, Tales number one. <laughs> Hold it up higher, Romeo. We want the whole crowd to see it. No problem. I must admit, as humans go, they're pretty special. A gift! Ray, darling. I don't know why you're sad, but maybe you should try to at least act happy for your friends. Okay, you're right. She didn't save my life so I could mope around. I'm good now, thanks. It's too much for a girl to take. I'm falling for you all over again. <laughs> Attention, please. The mayor of Magnolia would like to present oh, Fairy goodness. Tale with a gift to mark this momentous... Good members of Fairy Tale, observe your gift is to my right. For years you have been the pride of our city. That's why we are honored wow. to present you with a newly restored guild hall. <laughs> cool. So they got their guild hall back. I forgot how big it is because <laughs> they've been in that smaller like house kind of one for so long but and this obviously guys if you watch uh, the Phoenix Priestess movie this makes way more sense now because they had the big mansion in that movie what's that thing Okay, creepy. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for us to get back to work. But yeah, guys, I know like uh, like the fairy tale movie. It, you know, there's online. There's lots of just little discrepancies of where it takes place, when it takes place. You guys have said, uh, you know, best at, right about now, like episode 200, 201. Uh, officially 201, I would say, uh, after seeing that the reveal of this guild hall. But I just. Um, 
I ended up doing it after 200 just because I'm trying to keep that format of three episodes in a video. And so it just kind of worked out that way for me to do it in between 200 and 201. But, yeah, not a big deal. Otherwise, it's it's all good. Sure, it's all yours, but you'll need to go to Drummer's Village for it. I don't think I've ever heard of it. So, you want to tell us how to get there? Wait, the monster hut is for a mole? I guess. Apparently Being down here, guys, this is reminding me that uh, there's something hidden underground. There's, there's some, like, secret thing underground that uh, Gildart was given by Makarov, or, like, revealed to Gildarts, but I don't know. I don't think they explained what that is yet, officially. Something like the heart of the gilder. Well, I thought I just saw our first master cross the road. Uh, Mavis is doing master. something now. Well, this is as close as I can get to Dromer, kids. Uh. Uh, whoa. What the heck happened? As you can see, the town's been having some drainage issues lately. Ooh, man. I have to take a pretty big detour around it to get to the next stop. I'm the village elder. Pleasure to meet you. It's just, it's so weird, guys, to see them back just doing yes, jobs again. It's been so, so long since lives. anything like that's been going on. Oh, it's a mole? Probably a giant mole, if I had to guess, because <laughs> moles are normally pretty small. difficult to beat will assist you even with all of us here there's a problem how do we figure out where the mole's hiding there's just too much mud everywhere that is the hard part but i think i've got it worked out call aquarius Open. oh okay i was gonna say if they call aquarius aquarius is just gonna be so mad that it's like muddy <laughs> He impetuously speculates. On the other hand, I feel a powerful sense of foreboding in regard to this entire ordeal. Got you now! What, you think the mole was on my head? Well, I was heading straight for the thing, so yeah, maybe it was! I wonder if they're ever gonna realize they're on the same team. Do you see the mole around? <laughs> right back. Only one way for us to beat this kind of enemy. We'll have to lure it to a place where we have the advantage. Watch out, it's back for more! It's looking right at us through the ice! Uh oh. oh. What a creeper! Fire Dragon Iron Fist! Could you use your head just once? I already tried that and it hurt! <laughs> Alright, fine! Yes. Oh, 
It's a long, awkward story that I won't get into now. But back in the day, that mole actually used to be a villager's pet. Someone's pet? It was a small, adorable creature back then, and it caused no trouble. But his owner suddenly had to move away, and whatever his reasons were, that selfish fool left the mole behind, screwing us all. Thinking he had been abandoned, the little guy grew angry and bitter. Turned savage and wild. He just needs a friend. To a monstrous size. And now the beast has returned to take revenge on mankind. I'd have a chip on my shoulder too. Well, I'd feel more sympathetic if it chased someone else for once. This may be the mole's breeding season. It's searching for love. Since it can find no females of its own kind, it's decided to make do with her. So you're saying that the mole wants to marry Lucy, right? That is beyond ridiculous! I too am a comely young woman. So why doesn't the mole chase me around? Huh. Considering that you're wearing all that armor, it could be that the mole is uncertain as to your gender. Hey, wait! I'm a young girl that isn't wearing armor, so how come it doesn't like me? Uh, it seems that this mole is especially fond of well-endowed women. And, you know... <laughs> Jeez. Of this information, our next course of action seems clear. Yep, we got ourselves a big old piece of mold bait. Hmm. Huh? There he is! Open! The gate of the maiden! Virgo! Your wish is my command, princess. Ta-da! This was fun, but may I go home and take a shower now? No way! You just got here! <laughs> Okay, I need Save. to push that creature into the air. I know it's really muddy, but can you just pretend you're digging? Understood, princess. However, your safety is my top priority. You almost feel bad for the guy. He'll be fine. I hit him with the back of my sword. Well, now that we've caught the thing, I guess we should figure out what we should do with it. You seem nice, and I hope you can find somebody, but I can't marry you. I'm human. You know that, don't you? I'm back, princess, and I've brought a friend. Huh? <laughs> what is that? Lucy's got some competition! During my subterranean travels, I came across a lady mole. I think perhaps some female companion oh my saved goodness. him into letting go of his grudge against the villagers. She seemed willing, so I brought her here. Hey, I appreciate the effort, but that thing is clearly a crustacean. Oh. And a happy wow. ending. There you go. This looks promising. I can't even tell what that thing is. I thought oh. I felt your presence at the Grand Magic Game, Seraph. Did you watch? Seraph. I neither hear you speak nor see your face, my dear Mavis. Yet I know that you are somewhere near, looking down on me with those big disdainful eyes. It's been seven years now since the two of us have been this close to each other. It's been seven years now since the two of us have been this close to each other. Why do you persist here? Searching for a place to die? The place of my death has been decided. I've been around for a few centuries now, Mavis, born witness to the rise and fall of many kingdoms. Human conflict, hatred, wickedness. With the dawn of each new era, I've always hoped these things would pass. Until at last I realized, no matter what changes, the depravity of man is a constant. There are always those that fight for something better. Come now, those idealists are the worst of them. Lying to themselves and to each other with every breath they take. Then you won't wait any longer. Yes, that's correct. For seven years I've been making up my mind. And I've come to the decision that since the world's rejected me, I have no choice but to reject the world. Fairy tale oh. accepts this world for all its flaws. 
This shall be my gift to no one, Mavis. A brand new world. Purified and sweet. I assume that there will be fighting? Not quite. More like a one-sided annihilation. Not a man, woman, or child will be spared. I swear that Fairy Tail will stop you. They will wipe your stain from this land. Wow. It's so cool to see him back. Like, but I have so many questions. <laughs> With different end credits. Alright, well, well, we'll let this play. We'll watch the credits. Um, I'll talk for a second about Zeref because Zeref, we last saw him on the island, and I was getting such. I, I know I haven't reacted in a live uh, video to that guys yet, but uh, back when he was first introduced, like I, I was, you know, other than the name of the dark wizard Zeref, I didn't really know anything about him, and the whole island arc. It made me really feel like he was not as bad as everyone was saying. Like, he had this horrible power, but he, like, didn't want to do it. He didn't want to, like, be evil. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? <laughs> Hello, fan service. <laughs> it's probably Lucy, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, it's on the, tattoos on the hand. All right. Oh, I got a little distracted there. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, but yeah, Zeref is, uh, you know, I feel like he wasn't as evil as everyone thought he was. So I don't know if they're going to play off that more or I, I feel like he like he didn't want to be evil. He didn't want to do these evil things so like when we met him on the island. But now with what he just said, he seems like he's spent seven years trying to like, I don't even know what he's trying to do, basically, but. Oh, more more fun <laughs> well I got I, I'm so distracted guys I'm gonna have to um, I'll, I'll be talking more about Zeref next I I don't normally show the preview of the next episode until the end of my video so um, but I just I got a few things to say about Zeref so I'm gonna keep uh, talking about that so let's move on guys with the next episode of 202. All right, guys. Well, this is episode 202, and uh, I th I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit fillery, this episode. So I'm going to use this time to talk a little bit more about Zeref and what we just saw in the last episode. Um, I got so distracted <laughs> by uh, the ending credits with Lucy there, I uh, lost my train of thought. So I had to kind of... I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. But, um, but yeah, so I, I got a few things and uh, to comment on I guess about Zara because like I was saying guys he um he was oh, it, what sorry I'm distracted now with Frosh like I'm hung up guys on what future Rogue said like Frosh is gonna die in a year and cause Rogue to be evil like we gotta keep an eye on Frosh we gotta protect him we can't let anything happen and he's gone oh my god Save the world by protecting Frosh. Man, it seems like everywhere I go, people are still worked up over the Grand Magic Games. Well, it definitely had a big impact on Sabretooth, that's for sure. Tell me about it. They were pretty scary before. I heard Master Giamma was really tough on them. They won the games a few times, but I think everyone was miserable. Now they're all smiles. I guess having Sting as their master has been good for them. It seems like it's... Oh, so Sting is the master. Confirmed. Our guild aims to stun the heavens, rouse the land beneath us, silence the raging seas. That is the saber toothed way. Hear me? Take it off. Yes, if that is what you wish, sir. Everybody in the water! <laughs> 
I was gonna say, we haven't, uh... Not that kind of party, Sabretooth Guild. Fake out. <laughs> Oh jeez. Hey, some of us are trying to relax here. This swimsuit is so incredibly hot. I'm just glad he decided not to go skinny dipping. So relaxing, don't you think? Yes, but should everybody just be loafing around like this? The only thing that would make this better is if the pool was filled with yummy fish. Swimming is fun, and it's actually a very good way to exercise. It may seem a bit excessive, but putting a pool in the yard like this was a brilliant idea. Yeah. We are the only guild that has a pool, right? I don't remember anyone else talking about how. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both having their own pool parties. Hey, Sting! Oh, I mean, Master. You know I don't care about that Master crap. Is there something wrong? Yeah, something's really wrong. Well, we were out shopping in the market, and somehow Froze just completely disappeared on me. Say what? Oh no, that's awful. Are you joking, or are you really so careless that you just let something like this happen? I'm sorry. I just turned my back for a second, and that's all it took. Hey, man, this was obviously an accident, so back off, would you? Don't you understand? Froze doesn't know how to get back here. Yeah, I know, but that's not Lecter's fault. He knew that too. He knew it on Do they know, like, the underlying, like, hey, Froze needs to survive, needs to be okay. Otherwise. You're gonna be horrible, rogue in the future. Who knew? Uh, that's new. New, uh, yeah, title, logo type thing. Cool looking. So you were here when you lost track of Froge, huh? Come on back. We miss you. It looks like I have a moment now, guys, where I can continue talking about Zeref, but it. I kept getting distracted, <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be okay for a minute. Uh, but yeah, Zeref, guys, like I was saying before, um, he has this horrible, horrible power. It really feels like he didn't want that power on the island and didn't want to be necessarily evil and didn't want to fight, didn't want to be horrible, but everyone just assumed he was. Everyone just has the name Zeref in their head as this evil dark wizard. So yeah, uh, sorry guys, I just <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Um, but yeah, Zeref, like knowing all that, guys, I he's been gone seven years. It, based on that last conversation in the last episode with Mavis, he was like finding himself or doing something um, for the last seven years, and now he's decided to give up on the world. Like the the world just can't get over the fact that he was an evil wizard. So he is going to give up on the world and just be like, you know what, if that's all you think I am, that's what I'm going to be. And so now it sounds like he's going to be pretty evil. I don't know how he knows Mavis. Um, like when I did my uh, reaction guys to the credits, like the end, I think the ending credits specifically, there was one of the ending credits that kind of showed um, Zareph and Mavis walking together where it kind of looked like they were either into each other or had some connection going on with each other. And yeah, so I didn't know, like, how they know each other. I'm assuming that'll be explained at some point. But back then, guys, when I did that reaction, like, I didn't even know for sure if that was Zareph. Like, I was so, like, unaware of how important Zareph would be when I saw the island arc. I just knew he was, like, the, the villain, like a bad guy. But I didn't know that he was going to, like, be, like, this overarching, overlooming guy that, you know, carries over throughout all these different arcs. Um, I think I might have paid more attention if I knew that. <laughs> but honestly, guys, I get him... I got. I was getting him in the past. Now I can tell him apart. But I was getting him so mixed up with Rogue. Because they both had black hair. They both had, like, that black cape thing. And they both had, like, gold on the cape. And so I was like, is that Rogue? Is that... Zarif, like, I didn't even know in the credits when I did that. And I, now, like I said, now I can tell them apart, guys, but 
Oh man. Oh my goodness. So yeah, guys, uh, time will tell, I'm sure, but I, I'm excited to kind of know the connection with Zeref and Mavis. Oh my god. So, sorry guys, I'm talking so much about Zeref and Mavis, but obviously in the episode, we are still looking for Fro, so, uh, but yeah, the some of the different guilds are reconnecting a little bit, just kind of by happenstance. Oh, there he is. Jeez. <laughs> but seriously, stop and look a second. Check it out. Uh, reading a map, eh? That's right. This whole time, Frosh has been trying to get back to the guild hall and to make it there without anyone's help. Oh, they're not going to reveal that they see him? They're just going to see what he does? my heart and keep my protective instincts inside. This could be a real milestone. I really wouldn't bet on that. Maybe we should watch and see how things go. He's <laughs> like wow. in a trance. The right direction. Good job, little buddy. Something's gone out of control. Oh, no. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> Forgot about that too. Trying to tell that to a dragon slayer's belly. Gotta fight for this. Bro! <laughs> you okay? Uh, uh, was that enough? Yeah, good job. What a relief. Yeah. Oh, there's Liliana. I'm sorry. I thought you were a little kitty witty, but I guess you're a frog? Yeah, I think so. My word. She is quite a charming creature. Oh, precious. You know, ever since we were little, Frosh So all the guilds are just kind of like out on the town shopping today? <laughs> it's cool that they're all in here, but I'm just like... A little funny. And he'll be gone. Yeah, there he goes. He's gone. He's gone! Oh man, we were too busy getting hyped for their fight! We have to keep looking! Right! Well, look at what we got here! That's like a totally rare kind of frog, man. It's adorable! Is there something kind of weird about it? Yeah, I think it's a cat. It's totes adorbs. I've never seen anything like it. Oopsie. If you ask me, these guys are obviously up to no good. They could be dangerous. Uh, let's nab the thing. Bet it's worth nab jewel. Now get in the box, little kitty frog. Those fiends. So like a frog guild. No. Gotcha. Uh, so fast. Way to go, little buddy. Hello. The boss. Perfect timing. I knew you rookies couldn't hack it, and now you're making everyone in the whole frog trading industry look like a bunch of incompetent morons. Who the heck are these guys? I can't tell if they're dangerous or harmless. Yeah, and has anybody ever heard of a frog trading industry? <laughs> Alright, little froggy, you're about to get caught by the boss himself. Uh, we can't just sit here and watch this happen. You're right, Lecter. I have to do something. Uh -huh. What is the big idea? Oh, crap! I didn't mean to catch a blonde chick! Hey, <laughs> what are you up to? Are you trying to get a little shopping done? This one's mine! Oops. Yeah. Hey, don't you hop away, little froggy! <laughs> gotcha now! Ha! What the? That's no way to get a date, you know! So what do we do now? Well, now that 
Natsu's gotten involved, the situation has become extremely unpredictable. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here, but I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody has an idea what's going on here, but they know where Froge is, I guess. What a silly episode to finally like have this heartwarming moment. Like you're just gonna get teary right now. I'm like, oh my god. Hearts are breaking everywhere. Just watching Froche like become age up a little bit. And just I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> the music and everything. I'm like, oh my god, little Froche. She knows how to get to the guild hall. Ah, oh, sweet. She's pointing in the right direction. What did you end up buying, by the way? A matching suit. Wanna try it on? What was that? Don't tell me that's the whole reason why we got separated. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, jeez. I adore the color. What an amazing find. I think Rogue will be delighted. I think so, too. Oh, sweet. Uh, if you wear that, I'm so making fun of you. Wow! I feel like I'm watching a little kid taking their very first steps toward being an adult. Me too. You can do it. I know it. Over the river and through the woods, it's back to the guild I go. Whoa, that's crazy. Sleepwalking back to the guild? <laughs> Just keep on walking, pal. We all believe in you. Frosh. You've come this far all by yourself. Oh, I made it! I just want to let you know. That this is <laughs> I was gonna say, is that like the right house or no? Oh, Frosh. Little Frosh. Oh, we have another ending. Um, it doesn't look like the same one. Right, longer hair. This, uh... I don't know yet. Juvia? No. Is it Wendy? Yeah, it's Wendy. Okay. Well, there's Wendy for you. <laughs> 
I'm a little curious why they're doing uh, these endings like this. It's, no, no complaints, but I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, curious why they switched it up. I guess is I'm just just wondering. So I'm assuming they're gonna go through all the characters, and I'm assuming just the females. <laughs> Urs is up to something? Who is that, uh... Visca? She looks way different. Alright, well let's move on, guys, to 203. Alright, guys, so this is episode 203 now, and... Pretty low-key moments. <laughs> Nothing too crazy going on right now. So it's kind of like peacetime in the world, uh, which is good. We kind of need need a little break, I guess, here and there. Um, and last episode, guys, mainly focused on Frosch and him finding his way home. Um, I, uh, I keep getting hung up from the Eclipse arc. Uh, with them so talking about how in action. one year Frosch was going to get killed and cause Rogue to become evil and stuff. And I know with the Eclipse destroyed, he won't be able to travel back in time, but I'm still thinking like, hey, you know, future Rogue gave Natsu that warning and said, don't let him die. <laughs> and yeah, so basically uh, with Frosch, I keep getting hung up on that. Like, oh, is he going to have some horrible moment come up? I feel like if it was going to happen, like if, it were, if they were going to do anything, making where Frosch gets hurt or, you know, killed or anything like that, and then Rogue turning evil, I feel like it would have been talked about or, or done last episode, mainly because it was so Frosch-centered. Um, and just because of he, you know, couldn't find his way and just... I, I was expecting at least one character to say, hey, we got to make sure he's okay because of this, you know, and stuff like that. So um, I don't see that happening now in the show. I'm, I'd be surprised if they do touch on it again just because they didn't last episode. So, but yeah, guys, so otherwise we're going to move on. And, uh, ooh, this shot right there in the credits, that was the one shot, this shot here with all the Dragon Slayers. I was expecting that in the arc, and I don't think they did that if, I, if they did I missed it but like I don't really feel like they did that because I feel like that would have been such a powerful scene a powerful moment that I would not have ever forgotten so I guess that was just done for the credits if I'm assuming but it would have been cool to see I think of all, all the dragon slayers kind of standing tall together would have been nice but oh well <laughs> I like this song a lot. <clears throat> we are nearing the end of this uh, segment, I believe. Next episode, if I, I had to look it up, next episode, I believe, is going to have a new intro, new opening credits. So I'll have a whole new color scheme, guys, uh, to kind of match that a little bit. Um, oh yeah, so that'll be fun. So it does look like too, guys, that Juvia is going to keep her hairstyle the way she kind of revealed in 200, episode 200. So that is the one inconsistent thing I feel from the fairy tale movie, because the movie, based on everything else, takes place best after 201. Uh, but she has her old hairstyle. Like when you first met her, she has that hairstyle. So I'm a, I'm chalking it up to just an animation error. But you know, in a, an in the universe answer, I would probably just say I think I said this in the movie reaction itself that you know you probably would just say Juvia, you know, gets these strong emotions like this, maybe grade and react to her new hairstyle very well. So then she switched it back to how she used to be and then maybe just off screen on another day she switched it back to how she wanted it to be giving it another shot I don't know that that's just my take on it but yeah, I don't know <laughs> you guys can decide what you want uh, based on that it's not really a big deal either way but I don't know 
what those two are playing. But if they're having a good yeah. time, then who cares? You're so mature and confident. I knew you'd be the bigger man. I'm beginning to think that we should take a few steps back. Yeah, too bad. Base is loaded. <laughs> Who's making such a racket? I could hear you from upstairs. I got it this time. <laughs> yeah. Gotta catch it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nice catch, though. A cue ball, eh? Uh, we were just breaking in these pool tables. Do you want to join us for a round? With the balls on the floor? Uh, have you ever played? Yes. Many years ago. I, <laughs> I was going to say, what's going to happen? <laughs> Are we going, uh, flashback? This is an interesting, uh, opening title. Like, this the whole thing with that. That's... I guess that's the new style, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Urza Scarlet, bunny mode. You can hang here anytime. What he said. The Snow White Orb, evocative <laughs> of a maiden pure as she is brave. So I'm assuming this is the a flashback now of when she played pool the first time. She smites them all. <laughs> and she's done. Tell far and wide of your delicious caramel mousse and decided I must have it. You want some caramel? There's no mousse here. We don't got any. A pack of moose hoarders, are we? Fine. I know the cure to your affliction, and I have ways of making you talk. There's a sweet shop next door. Oh. Read the sign in front <laughs> next time. He's in the wrong building. Seems I was mistaken. Sorry, but you're in my way. That emblem. No! She's in fairy tale! Red for your lives! Stay back! Don't hurt me, please! Whatever it is, we're sorry, we won't do it anymore. Please let me go, it's my daughter. Trying to figure out when when this would have taken place. I've got five little kids depending on me! And a cat! You tell your friend Moulin Rouge, we don't want any trouble. Who's that? I've never heard of her. But before you judge us, look at me. You don't think I'm ferocious, do you? Of course not. I'm a bunny girl. Oh, you're totally Just scary. Look at what you did. <laughs> the balls you busted are gonna burn through the table. The bunny suit makes it scarier. I apologize. Tell me, where can I find this besmircher of my guild's good name? Well, earlier she went into the sweet shop next door. Might still be there. If you really are from Fairy Tale, then good luck. Teach her a lesson. Oh, I intend to. Hi, welcome to Fruits Park. That's it. Nice bunny suit. I'd love to buy some sweets, but first there's someone that I need to stalk. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what an adorable uniform. I'll borrow this to get closer to my mark. Meanwhile, this is for you. It's the only one there is. Gorgeous, I know. At times like okay. this, I take great pleasure in my work. I'm not just cute, I'm well disguised. I wish you'd let me be the bunny girl. Seeking Moulin Rouge, you know her? Yeah, you got her right here. So based on the preview last episode, guys, um, is this, I'm assuming this is Biska? You're, you're limited on characters with green hair. <laughs> There's Freed, Biska, and Hisui, and that's about it. bogus complaint and the threat of fairy tales wrath. Despicable. What? <laughs> Here's how but she's like straight up evil, so maybe this is like how they first met. So back off. I have friends who could turn this crappy little town of yours into a crater. Got it? Fairy tale has been provoked uh, indeed. And we will make you pay dearly. <gasps> You've been running your mouth plenty lately, haven't you? Since these will be your last words, you should make them count. No way. Oh man. How did you get that massive sword in here? <laughs> Did she seriously need to change her clothes for that? I didn't even get to eat my caramel mousse. This isn't fair. Oh, like a <laughs> a little Lucy there. cameo. That's, that's funny. funny she had her uh, season one outfit. Damn, I noticed. So that was cool. By the genuine article. How awkward is this? So much for making your last words count. Look, fairy girl. They call me the lightning bandit here, and I've got a theory why. You might get struck by lightning, but it's way too quick to catch. Speed. Whoa. <laughs> Oh man. These are such cute uniforms. And so very convenient to remove. Give it back right now! Pay my tab, will ya? Coward. Before it wasn't personal. Huh? You disrobing me in the very place where I should be eating caramel mousse right now has sealed your doom. Huh? I think you have some anger issues. Okay, please! 
Oh man. Go ahead and draw. Okay. Whoa, look, I'm not one to give tips to my enemies, but fighting a gun with a sword is suicide, even if I weren't the quickest draw on the continent. Still running that mouth? Cease this bragging and draw your weapon. Fine then. We'll do it your way. At least you won't say I didn't warn. Like I say, if anybody could deflect bullets with a sword, it'll be Urza. Kagra probably could too. But <laughs> I keep laughing, guys, because in my uh, if you watch my reaction to the to the fairy tale movie, I made some comment like, "Oh, you don't see guns in in fairy tale very much." Totally forgetting about Biska and like her husband and all that, like, and how they're just they're famous for having guns, and I'm like. And now we have this episode right now with uh, more guns. So I just kind of laugh at like, oh, what? I don't know why he said that, but hope you get a laugh too. You uh, I thought you said you were fast. Notice that? What? Those tiny cue balls you just lobbed at me. One-handed too. Admit your defeat. Sorry, okay, I messed up. Dang, Mulan Rouge just admitted she was beaten. Real fairy tale girl's incredible. I can't take back my crimes, but I do promise that I won't cause these people any more trouble. It's okay, I won't kill you. <gasps> Thank you. Ain't it beautiful? Such a simple gesture of peace. Uh oh. There are other ways to take revenge. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, this is such a nice soft touching moment so he'll be like oh come join fairy tale but nope circumstances, I just gonna throw you across the room banditry. but i will never tolerate the deliberate abuse of fairy tale's name it's the sigil of a family the emblem of our pride when we're marked we take an oath forever binding our fates to that of the guild and should anyone dare trample upon that sacred oath good or wicked i will cut them down <laughs> That's what it means to be in a guild. Don't forget. Uh, but why? If you're looking for work, come to Fairy Tale. I think you'd fit right in. There you go. Hey, wait! My real name isn't Mulan Rouge. It's Visca. Visca Mulan. It's Urza. Urza Scarlet. Yeah, yeah. I won't forget. There they are. Great. You wrap up that job already? These are really nice tables, man. Where'd you get them? Well, see, it's kind of a long story, and I just finished telling it. They're gifts from a client that really likes pool. I guess it's a shorter story than I thought. Pretty. Well, this takes me back. Yes, that makes two of us. <laughs> you know, I've never seen you play for real. Ever try? Once or twice. Well, the last time I saw you play, your pool cue was a katana. Is that not how you play? I guess I haven't after all. Hey, what you talking about? Not a whole lot. I love guys how fairy tale will feature like more minor members of the guild. Like right now, we're getting a big Biska push, which is cool, and it makes me want to like have Biska around this more in more episodes and do more with her like we had a big push with Locky. I, I like from that in the infinity clock arc I love Locky now um, I love Levy like we have all these great characters that we got to like learn more about through their time kind of hanging out with these main characters there's someone at the door who the heck is that how would I know man you came after all I've been waiting hey Urza it's good to see you I was wondering, is there anything around for a girl and her partner to eat? Yeah, of course. How's your sickly friend been doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, so this is Sunny. His medicine's expensive, I hear. Yeah, it can be hard to keep up with. I am penniless at the moment. <laughs> what is it? Is the food not to your liking? No, it's just... 
I already owe you, but could I have a job? Sure. We'll get you one of these once you're done eating. This symbol we bear is no mere decoration, okay? It's the sigil of a family. Hey, uh, there you go. That, you should meet the guild master. <laughs> Up for a match? Just... Don't whip any swords out. Wait a minute, I didn't know that you played pool. Just watch and learn, babe. Wow, both of them look like they're pros. They do have excellent form. But the balls are the holes, all right? You're the coolest, mama. Let's do this. All right. Ha! That was nice. That was, that was a cool story. Like I was saying, guys, yeah, it's always so interesting to win, like, these more minor characters get kind of brought up to the front and center and you get to like see so much more with them and learn more about them and everything it was it's just so cool to see that um and i hope they do that more with more characters like i think i said in uh i don't even know what video i did anymore but one of my videos i did at one point i said how i kind of felt like lasana when they first brought her back was like this whole front center type character and now they kind of pushed her a bit more in the background and she's not doing too much so i'd love to see her more back in you know back in the fold like front and center type of deal um you know mira's mira's one that kind of gets some on and off she got a bigger push being with the main crew in the um eclipse arc you know in the dungeon area and everything so that was really cool to see her fight more and do stuff more with that um, but yeah, guys, I, I love fairy tale how they do that with all these different characters. So yeah, it looks like now in the credits we have Urza today, um, hanging out <laughs> for some fan service. So so yeah, there you go for all the Urza fans out there. I like Urza. Uh, she's not my most favorite, but I do like her a lot too. She, she's I like I don't think there's anybody I don't like. I think everyone's pretty cool. So all right, let's see what happens next, guys. She's wigging out, dude. What's going on? Oh, yeah. She wants to throw some kind of party for all those celestial spirit people. A party? Yep. They had us over to their place before the Grand Magic Games, so it's like the least that we can do. Oh. Well, when you put it that way, I guess we ought to give her a hand, right? Well, yeah, but the thing is, I feel like we're overdue for some trouble. Next, Next time, time, full effort, effort hospitality. hospitality. Hey, what does this job have to do with hosting a party? Uh, I don't know, man. I give up. Well, overdue for some trouble makes me think like, okay, we might be getting some trouble in the next episode. Uh, I know, guys, that the uh, the next arc, you know, while it's still technically not, you know, the main, you know, part of the main thing, it's just more like a filler arc type of deal. Um, I The last filler, I, I, I heard somewhere, I think one of you maybe told me, I can't remember anymore, uh, that the Infinity Clock arc was also a filler arc. And... I loved that arc. I thought it was really cool. So even though this next one's going to be a filler arc, guys, I'm still really excited to kind of see what goes on in it and how it all goes and everything. I'm really excited for that. So that'll be coming next, guys. We're going to stop the video for today, but we will kick it off uh, soon with episode 204. Um, if you did see my reaction, guys, I uh, for the movie, I did say at the end that uh, I'm now on a schedule for videos. I'm trying to make videos every Tuesday and Friday coming out at 1 o'clock Eastern. So uh, whatever day you're watching this, Tuesday or Friday, the next day, uh, Tuesday or Friday, that appears will be another video from me. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Uh, thank you again for all the support. Please give a like to this video and feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of these episodes. Uh, I'd love to you know chat with you guys down there. So. Again, thanks for everything. Have a great day and see you soon.